Hi everyone, welcome to a new Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordilla and in this video I'm going to show you six sketch tricks that will boost your productivity. So let's begin. Uh, we all know how to use artboards in Sketch. They're uh, great for organizing your content and it makes it easier for us to design for certain screen sizes. Um, and you might also know about the resize to fit option. Uh, that allows us to um, resize an artboard automatically based on what's inside it. So let me give you an example. Let's say we have an artboard here and we have some content, just some random uh, content here. And we want to resize it to fit just our content. We can do it by hand, of course. We can resize it like this, but it's not the, um, the fastest option. Instead, what we got to do is select the artboard and hit this resize to fit button right here. Now, what if uh, you just have an idea, you just open Sketch quickly and you want to draw something so you won't forget, uh, but later on you'll still need an artboard around that selection. Well, uh, you can do that very easily. For example, let's come in, let's draw a rectangle here and an oval tool. Okay, and what we can do is simply select these two, hit A, which is the keyword for artboard, and on the right here you'll see a bunch of options, a bunch of presets basically, and on the very top there is a round selection. It gives you the exact size and when you hit that it's going to create an artboard around what you just selected. And it doesn't matter how big it is, you can have something here and you can have maybe an oval over here, but you can select all of it, artboard, and hit around selection. And it's going to create an artboard which is exactly that size. Very, very cool. In Sketch, the Layers panel will show you a full list of layers and groups, but it will also show you the artboards at the very top level here. And as you can see, you have the option to expand one if you want or collapse it. And the way you would select it is to click its name in the Layers panel. If you try and select it like this, it's not going to work, right? Uh, if you click on its contents, that's what you're going to select. But there is a quicker way. What you can do is just hover with your mouse over the artboard name. You're going to see this blue selection here. And you just click it and you've selected the artboard. And you can do whatever you want with it. You can move it. You can also uh, select multiple artboards like this. You just hold down shift, you click and you can select as many as you want. Exporting in Sketch is pretty simple and it can be done with uh, groups, layers, or even entire artboards. Now, the way you'd, you would export, you would go to your element, you would either select it here or in the layers panel. You would click here, make exportable. You would set its options, size, suffix, format, uh, and then you would hit export. But there is a quicker way. What you can do is go to the layer group, select that item and simply drag it onto your desktop or in a finder window and that's going to create a PNG file because that's what I have selected right here. But if I change this to JPEG and I do the same operation, I just, uh, sorry, click and drag onto my desktop or a finder window, it's going to export a JPEG file. And you can even do this with entire artboards. Simply select them and if you don't have an export setting here, it's going to use the default which is PNG at 1x. So again, simply drag and drop and you're done. Drawing shapes in Sketch is very simple. You just select your tool, click, drag, and you're done. But what if you want to uh, move that shape to a different location? Well, uh, it's of course very simple. Let's uh, create a simple rectangle here. Just click, drag, and then you move it to whatever you want, right? But what if you want to uh, 
draw a shape in a specific place. Well, you can do that very easily uh, by holding down space. So, for example, let's draw an oval. And if we hold down space, we can actually move this while dragging it. So, if I release it, I'm going back to the um, oval tool. But if I hit space again, I can move it and I can position it wherever I want. Now, you know how resizing works in Sketch, right? You just uh, select an element, grab the handles from the corners, click and drag and you resize an object. But let's see what happens if we try to resize, for example, a button that has some text in it. So let's quickly uh, draw a button here. I'm going to use a nice background here. Let's also give this a border center. Let's set it to about five. And we're going to use a darker green color here. And maybe a bit bigger, like 10, right? So inside this one, we're going to have a button that says contact. And of course, we're going to align these in the center, group them, and then I'm going to duplicate them and I'm going to resize this. Let's say that I want this button to be like 75 pixels in height. Well, watch what happens if I resize it. Hmm, not very good, is it? Well, to make this work, we're going to have to do it differently. So again, let's create a copy of this. And instead of resizing it using these handles, we're going to use the scale option. Now, this is a very powerful option because it gives you the scale that you want to use. Uh, it also gives you some anchors. So, for example, in my case, I want to scale it from the center. Uh, so, what I can do is actually go 80% and I can see a live preview. Now, by doing this, you can see that uh, the shape gets smaller, but also the text get smaller, which is exactly what I want. So let's uh, scale this down to about 50%, right? And something else that is also affected by scale is uh, the thickness of this border. You can see that it's 5 right now, but here it's actually 10. So remember about the scale option. This is very useful, uh, especially with complex shapes where you have borders, you have text, you have some other effects applied to it. Scale is your best friend, so use it. Now, this final trick is about applying the same transformation over and over again to the same object. Um, and uh, let me give you a quick example of what I mean. Let's say you have an oval tool that looks something like this, right? And you want to duplicate this and move it like this, maybe, you know, at 50 pixels distance from each other and you would do this. Oh, maybe the snapping didn't get it right. You have to adjust it manually and then do it again like this and like this. So, you know, it, there's quite a bit of uh, work involved here. But the, um, the simplest way you can do it is select the object, duplicate it however you want. Let's put it at 50 pixels distance and then you just hit with the object selected, you just hit Command D. And that's going to duplicate that object over and over and over using the previous um, transformation parameters. So that's very, very handy. An alternative to this, of course, would be to use the... Uh, let me actually duplicate this bit. Uh, an alternative would be to use the uh, grid. So you would go to... Uh, Arrange, make grid. Of course, you would need to select one row and then how many columns do you want? Well, maybe I want five at a 50 pixel distance and you would hit make grid and that's going to do it for you. But the uh, method I showed you is much easier. So again, press command D on the object you just uh, created, you just duplicated and it's going to copy the parameters of that transformation and reapply them over and over. Uh, and that's it for the uh, six sketch tricks that will boost your productivity. I know they uh, they have seriously helped me 
um, in my workflow in Sketch. So I really hope uh, they're going to do the same for you. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'm Adi Pordila and until next time, take care.